You hosted him many times in your dining room. You gave him your undivided attention. Like many people across the country, you may have enjoyed Chamano Makari's reports on E! News. But what you don't know is that behind this multi-award winning journalist, there's a painful journey of a little boy who had to endure degrading conditions in Limpopo, attending classes under a tree. He appeared on national television. He covered the big headlines. By the mid-2000s, he had become a familiar face to the South African public. Chamano Makadi, E! News, Johannesburg. In his heart, Chamano Makadi always knew he loved telling stories. But his childhood never guaranteed him the spotlight in front of the camera. Born in 1980 in the village of Hassan Tumule in Limpopo, Chamano was the youngest of six siblings. My mother and, and father, they were not educated. In fact, my mother has never, she's never been to school. They lived a very ordinary life. My, my parents were very strict. My mother in particular, she, 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 she wanted all of us as their children to, to, to get at least uh, an education. Despite his mother's wishes, education didn't come easy for Chamano. He spent the better part of his primary schooling under terrible conditions. We used to attend under a tree, even in cold winter, winter season. Uh, some of the classes were built of, of mud and, and wood. So it was not an easy, easy thing really. Um, but we, I, I, I just had to make the best out of, of, of the situation. With no electricity in the village, doing his homework was always hard. One by one, he watched his classmates give up on school. They, they, they dropped out simply because of uh, uh, those conditions. But uh, uh, we were fortunate enough just to have people around you who would push you uh, uh, far beyond the limit and just say to you, you know what, it's going to be okay one day. With his parents' encouragement, he pushed on, finally matriculating in 1999. That was the moment uh, uh, when you feel like, you know what, I, I, I have been rewarded for, for all the hardships that I, 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 I went through. And I, I, I just knew from that point that nobody uh, was going to stop me. The following year, he started his journalism studies at the Gauteng Technicon but more stumbling blocks would hinder his progress. Chamano's parents only had enough money for registration and a little more for food. I relied on 200 rands pocket money that came from my mother. So you can just imagine 200 rands, what do you do with it? You buy, I don't know, eggs, you buy milly meal. Um, so it gets finished quickly. He knew self-pity wasn't going to get him anywhere. He chose to be proactive and began working for the campus radio station to earn pocket money. But as he soldiered on, Chamano suffered two terrible blows. First, his brother was shot dead in 2000. And while he was mourning his loss, his father died of diabetic complications six months later. It meant Chamano's mother faced the daunting task of looking after her children alone. But then, among all the sorrow, some good news. Chamano received a full scholarship from a Johannesburg radio station, beating 2,000 applicants. He could now continue with his journalism studies. 
that came as a as a huge relief i tell you uh, my mother was very happy about it i was really excited about it because i knew uh, that this opportunity was definitely going to change my life for for good and he was right after graduating doors opened up for the determined young man it was at that point in 2002 when I was at ACBC when I started approaching ETV and I just got there but of course I mean I had to knock fast and somebody gave me a call to say look you can come and uh, yeah state your case within um, a week's time I received a phone call to say yes Makari uh, you can come join us on Monday and it was at that point when I joined um, ETV uh, and my life was never really uh, the same. After five fulfilling years with ETV, Chamano walked out a multi-award winning journalist. Almost unbelievable since he once attended class under a tree. He later joined the Tswane University of Technology to develop the next generation of news reporters. It gives you what reality is about in terms of being in broadcasting or as a reporter. And I feel as though we need that because we can't just have the academic side of things. Makari has taught us uh, to be go-getters. When you go out there, um, do not, do, not, do not necessarily compromise. Go out, all out for what you want. So it's, 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 it's a simple uh, principle. If you are not going to do it today, when are you going to do it? And who must do it? So we all have a challenge as South Africans to make this country a better country. Amazing. Send us your feedback and let us know what you think against all odds at enca.com. Still to come, how did a Gauteng street vendor build a business empire that creates hundreds of jobs? News that moves. enca.com.